All right, friends, you know the drill. We're again in front of this Tesla charging station because they're taking up space. Nobody's here. Nobody's charging their cars up, right? Because nobody wants to drive a Tesla on a Sunday. So I parked this BMW M2 competition right here to prove a point, to prove that you can drive cars eco-efficient. We have done this with multiple cars now, with the latest M2, with a McLaren, with a Bentley, with a V10, with a bunch of cars, E63 and so on. And today we're doing it with a car that is now becoming a great bang for the buck. And it's his BMW M2 competition. So this car is from 2018, looks absolutely wonderful in this silver grayish color. Very beautiful. It has been lowered, it has been tuned. It has a, yeah, grail exhaust system. So I'm pretty curious on how this car is going to perform. Now, what I do know is BMW says this car will use around 9.2 liters of fuel to 100 kilometers. The problem is, let me just pop the hood. Oh yeah, two times with this car. The problem is the S55 engine in the BMW M4 is a little bit more efficient for some strange reason. I don't know why, I don't know why. So let's just turn around and see the engine. Here it is, here it is, the S55 with 410 horsepower, inline six cylinder, you see the cooler there, very nice. So uh, carbon strut bar here, very cool, wavy shape. I think it's a beautiful engine and this is very, very good to drive. Now, what I know is, as I told you, uh, BMW M4 is more efficient and has more power. So I'm, curious whether we can top under eight liters but for some strange reason i doubt that today okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to fill it up did i mention that the car has a grill exhaust system so before we fill up let's have a, a quick listen just a quick one oh that sounds nice all right, let's take a moment to appreciate this beautiful car in this Hockenheim silver. Look at that, lowered, very beautiful. Look at that. So the drill is always the same, right? Normally I would fill up the tires a little bit, but it's not my car, right? And it's it has been lent to us, so I'm going to just leave it as it is. So filling the car up completely, of course, with the good stuff. Let's see what it takes. It was like at one third. So I'm curious of how much petrol size this has. Let's All right, friends, look at that. 33 liters, so it's a very small tank. It has like 45 to 50 liters of tank. That's, that's nothing. That's really nothing. You know, I'm curious whether they know that I'm doing the fuel economy test every single time at the same petrol station. So <laughs> they probably know me already. All right, friends, the car has been filled up completely. I'll reset everything. So 0, 0.00 liters now, okay? We're beginning very slowly and letting the car do the job. So just let it work. I'll put it later into manual and just shift myself uh, after, yeah, basically just in seventh gear, right? As soon as it gets into the seventh gear, we put it in manual and that's it. That's it, not touching that. No, normally I would be very curious to find out how much this car will actually use in fuel, right? But for some strange reason, I do have a slight feeling that it might use a little bit more because I might be wrong, I might be wrong, but let me just give you a brief update on what numbers we had up until now. The BMW M2 G8, uh, uh, G87 had like 6.2 liters to 100 kilometers. The most fascinating one to me is the Bentley Continental GT, which scored a 7.2 liters to 100 kilometers. That's absolutely ridiculous. A six liter engine. An E63S had um, somewhat around 7.2 liters. I would have to put it in. The M6 did almost 10 liters, right? Like 9.1 liters. And the McLaren MP4 12C did a 5.74 liters. Same road, same condition, same petrol. So I'm curious what this M2 will do. Right? It should use less fuel than the M2 G87, or at least the same amount of fuel, right? We have one gear less, but we have slightly less power, so I'm curious. And what I think is also interesting, I know a guy, 
as I told you, 7.5 liters with this M4, with the S55 engine. This car has a little bit less boost than the M S55. It's the same engine. Everything is the same, man. So it has 0 0.3 bar less boost. That's it. That's it. And the traffic jam. God damn it. As you can see by my fuel economy test, there's always traffic here. Always. But I will admit, I really like the M2. I think this is becoming a fairly good car for what it's worth. And it's a fantastic car to drive. I mean, you can do everything with it, right? M compound brake system, plenty of power, good exhaust system, good aerodynamics, very good suspension. I mean, a brilliant, brilliant car. To all the youngsters that want to drive a BMW M2, competition, right? You're probably 22, 23. You can afford it somewhat or with a little bit of help. So let me explain what is killing your fuel economy. You know that thing you do where you put it in sport, right? Or in M1 mode or in M2 mode and you accelerate and then you decelerate to hear the pops and bangs and then you accelerate again. This is killing your fuel economy. And also tailgating people. You know why? Because every time you press the brake, okay? You are not fuel efficient. Every single time you have to accelerate to get to the speed you were before, you're not fuel efficient. What I do is I keep it, I keep a distance. So if they break, I just release my foot from the gas, which means the car shuts off. It doesn't shut off completely, but it shuts off the fuel injection. And then we just roll a little bit. Then I press the throttle again, and then it just uses a little bit more fuel, right? That's it. That's the trick. I just drive with the with, with my actions in mind, right? I see cars in the front. If they break, I take a little bit of distance. You know, I distance myself from them. First of all, it's safer for the traffic. Second, I use less fuel. Spend some money on the weekend drift, right? Do it from Monday to Friday, save fuel. Saturday and Sunday. All right, friends, we are almost there. We just have like 20 kilometers left and it's insane. 6.6 .6 liter, it says which is actually very good. I, mean, I I thought it was going to be way, way worse. I thought it's going to use much, much more fuel. So very curious to find out how much it actually used. As you can see, I'm about driving 110 kph, getting overtaken by all of those cars. I think 110 kph is right the spot before the car starts using a lot of fuel. So that is very, very good. And the best thing is, if you keep it under 2k rpms man this doesn't use fuel at all fuel gauge went up to 6.9 liters because it's going uphill here but there's a downhill part coming so hopefully we can drop it a little bit more actually i'm kind of surprised because i, I was wrong right i told you that i know a guy that is driving his m4 uh, f82 for seven and a half li liters every single day right and i'm now at 6.9 liters as the clock says so uh that's very good i'm actually I'm actually surprised. I thought it's going to be way worse here, but we are we are pretty much in the game, right? That's actually very good. So, uh, and, and even the car has been lowered and so, you know? So let's see what we can do. I'll just drive this part down here and then we'll go to the petrol station. I'm, I'm positively surprised. I really am. Let's see. Now we are at the downhill part. So what I'm going to do is, so that the car doesn't get much faster, I just drop a gear, right? Not to drop a gear and disappear, but just drop a gear to kind of decelerate a little bit and just keep it there. No fuel is being used, as you can see here. Not a single drop of fuel is being used when you do that. Oops, and sorry about the, about the jumping around a little bit. We have a KW suspension, drop it to fifth so it decelerates, very good. All right, we're almost there. Just use it in the corner. Don't use any throttle, just use it. And uphill a little bit. Very good, very good. Here, no traffic. Fantastic. Turn around, very nice. Okay, let's see what we did. There's the petrol station coming up. Let's see what we did. And Remo Auto, the best place on earth. All right, friends. All right, there's the petrol station coming up. Let's see what we did. Let's see what we did. Come on. Come on. I got to pay in advance. Oh, that's it's really, really low. Let's see. So it says 6.8 liters to 100 kilometers. Let's shut the car off and let's see what it did in real life, right? Because the numbers lie a lot of times. All right, friends, the moment of truth. Let's see. Let's see what it did. 
again 98 on let's see this is the worst part of them all i'm always excited to see what it actually did 97 kilometers of drive <laughs> Oh yeah! Friends, I'm actually very surprised and I'm very happy about the result. 5.5 liters might be the, the, the best we had right now. So I think, yeah, it's the best. No car was more fuel efficient on the same road than this one. Ex ex except the Skoda, okay? But I mean, this was very good. 5.5 liters to 100 kilometers here with this M2 competition. Tuned, grail exhaust system, lowered. That's fantastic. Let's see what the second click does. Oh, that was it. I already paid. 10 bucks, man. 5.5 liters. Very happy. And uh, just to round that up, I think the clock says 6.8 liters to 100 kilometers. We drove 97. So it's probably, yeah, 95 to 97 kilometers. So that would be like, yeah, like 6 liters to 100 kilometers. When you don't drive over 100 and 10 kph with those cars, right? This was maximum 110 kph but i'm very satisfied so now we're going to start the review which means i'll put it into m2 mode or m1 mode and forget about all of that fuel economy exhaust flaps are open if you like our content make sure to leave a like and subscribe subscribe please press press subscribe thank you very much for watching god bless you and see you on the next one goodbye